Hi there, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Sierra Sundays. Today is Sunday for you. It's Friday for me, but Sunday for you. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch my weekly video. Last night, I just went to um, a networking event with my network, which is full screen, called um, Mashup LA, and it was sort of like a big networking event for either social media influencers, YouTubers, um, other random celebrities or just people who are kind of in the entertainment industry and a bunch of people who all kind of got together to network. There were a ton of different like brands there and sponsors and whatnot and it was an amazing event and I got to network with so many cool people and I got a bunch of new contacts with brands and promos and whatnot and it just, when I got home, I was just sort of started thinking to myself like, how did I get here? Like, this is such an amazing opportunity, and I feel so lucky that I have gotten where I've gotten. And also, I was talking to Christy, you guys know Christy Vetter, my best friend, her YouTube that channel, all that. Christy and I were talking, and today is Christy's six month anniversary of moving to DC, which means that next Thursday, the 15th, is my six month anniversary of moving to LA. And that is just so crazy because I'm reflecting back on everything that's happened in six months and like where my career is going and I definitely have had some downs lately where I've kind of like I said had the January blues and I've been really bummed out or feeling like I don't know where my career is going and then I'll have these crazy highs where like things are amazing and like I'm getting booking jobs and I'm networking and I'm making really videos I'm really excited about and it's kind of just been this up and down process. In the six months that I've been here, so much has happened and so I just kind of wanted to do a little recap of like what has happened as far as in my career in the last six months and like what I've learned from that. And I have a couple of videos coming up that are going to be more tailored towards acting and like how to get started in acting and how to get started with that. What I want to talk about today is kind of like what I have learned since moving to LA. And I mean that is a million things, but I kind of just wanted to cover a few of the basics of things that I have learned. So one of the biggest things, and this goes back to my networking event last night, is you have to get out of your comfort zone and it is not gonna be comfortable. And if you wanna pursue a career in entertainment or YouTube or something in the industry, or I mean any career, but specifically the industry, specifically LA or New York or anything, you have to be willing to be afraid and to get out of your comfort zone. For example, Last night was um, the full screen um, Mashup LA, like I said, pretty exclusive event. I have some friends who work for full screen, um, but they aren't an influencer the, or they aren't actually like talent, so they weren't able to go. And I messaged a couple of my friends from full screen who I met at our holiday party and none of them were going. And I, the only person I knew that was going was my manager and I didn't even know what time she was gonna be there. And this was like a big event, like tons of people there. I know a lot of people already have friends within the network and I was really scared to go by myself. I mean, I used to be the kind of person, because I'm such a people person, I hate doing things by myself, and I'm the kind of person who used to like say I was gonna go to an event with a friend and the friend canceled with me, I would just not go. Or if I really wanted to go see a movie and I couldn't find anyone to go see it with me, like I wouldn't go. I would never be the kind of person who's like, oh, I'm gonna go see this movie by myself or I'll go to this event by myself. And since moving up to LA, I have learned you have to be willing to do things by yourself and you have to be willing to get out of your comfort zone because for me my comfort zone is doing things with people if there's something that is scary that like I don't know what I'm to expect I always want someone there with me in this case I couldn't I couldn't bring a plus one or anything and so I just decided like okay you know what like you never know what kind of amazing opportunity you can get from networking and that's my second point of what I've learned. I'm gonna get to that in a second. But you have to be willing to just like go. So I did. I drove all the way there. It was like an hour drive from where I live. I parked, I walked in. I did not know anybody there. There were a lot of people already with friends. There was loud music. There were sponsors everywhere. And I just was like so overwhelmed. I didn't know if I was wearing the right thing. Like I didn't know, like, is this what people dress like? Was my makeup too much? Was it too little? I was really feeling super insecure, honestly. I literally just wanted to go on my phone. And you know, like when you're scared, you want to go on your phone and like pretend like you're doing something when you're really doing nothing. I wanted to do that. I was like, okay, I'm just going to go like hide out in the bathroom until I make up a game plan. And I was like, no, Sierra, like, socialize like introduce yourself like go talk to brands like do stuff so I went and I started talking to a few brands I started walking around like listening to their spiels about the products and like 
it, that started making me more comfortable like once I started talking and like getting into that I started feeling more comfortable and then um, I ended up running into my manager who like briefly introduced me to one girl and we ended up like talking and hanging out the rest of the night and then I met some other people like we at this from this one brand and then they introduced me to some other people and we just kept talking and I kept being like willing to put myself out there and be like I'm Sierra I do this like and it was really scary but it netted me so many results and now I have a whole bunch of new contacts new friends like new products to try out and like new potential collabs and whatnot and so it's something that like I'm so glad that I did and the answer is yes you can you can go by yourself and that's not there's nothing to be ashamed of for that you don't have to feel like you don't have friends like it was just an opportunity and you'll meet people there and then you never know what could come of something so that's one of my biggest points and that's something that I have really struggled with and something that I'm overcoming and to be honest something I'm extremely proud of myself for the next thing I want to talk about is networking Networking is everything in LA. It's literally like, it is so important. You know, who you know, who your contacts are and who you can say you know. And that's not to say that your talent isn't important and your drive and your perseverance, because those things are essential. They are crucial to your career. Like being motivated and being driven and not just being lackadaisical about everything you're doing. Like you have to be a go-getter, but who you know is really important and the more people you can network with who could potentially get you a spot on this or get you you know an assistant job on this and like kind of like through word of mouth you can get you know either a job or a gig or a whatever so um, and I know a lot of friends like um, who are musically talented or whatever who have gotten gigs singing at bars because of word of mouth from a friend so it's just try and meet as many people as you can like I literally I, there's this movie with Jim Carrey I think it's called yes man and sometimes when I'm in LA like I just think to myself like obviously like don't compromise your personal safety and you know take time to sleep but I think of my life as if I am Jim Carrey and yes man and I have to say yes to everything even if I have to go by myself even if I you know I'm tired or whatever I like I say yes to these opportunities because you never know who you're gonna meet and you never know like what opportunity could net you a connection that could potentially like be your big break or be whatever so that's my other big thing and along with that something that's really important with networking is to not burn any bridges and this is something I've encountered in the acting world even as far as like in student films and whatnot with people I've worked with do not burn any bridges by acting poorly around either directors you know agents you know um pe managers of gigs like anything or even just like fellow actors on set if you're an actor because I've worked with a couple people who have had outbursts, who have been divas, who have really not had good behavior, and then they treat it like, oh, this is just a student film. Well, the truth is, is that that director now works as the assistant to a big director who now knows, like, if that actress were to come up, you know, in a casting call, like, he's gonna know to be like, no, don't work with her, like, she's a real diva, like, she's not nice, you know. So just, as far as networking goes, like, always put your best foot forward, don't burn any bridges with people like even if you don't think they're important like everyone is important in this industry and word of mouth and your reputation is so important and then also just another thing is you have to work hard and you have to be driven and there was this quote I'm probably saying it wrong I know I am but it's something about like the difference between people with goals and people who achieve their goals is the people who achieve them do what the people who wanted them weren't willing to do. Sometimes that means you have to sit out on social stuff. Sometimes that means you have to stay up extra hours, work and take an extra job, like in order to make the money to go out to these auditions. Like you have to be willing to put in the work and you have to be able to like really commit to something. And I'm not saying I'm perfect by any means. Like there are times when I will go a week without doing anything for my acting career and then I feel horrible about it. I'm like, I didn't submit to any auditions. I didn't contact any reps. Like I didn't do anything this week. Like I've just been kind of going through the motions and I'm like, okay, Sierra, like you worked, like you hung out with people, like, okay, like I'm not gonna beat you up about that, but like you gotta get back into it because you have to work hard and you have to be able to persevere. I wanna actually make a separate video about this at some point about like perseverance and staying positive in the face of negativity because in this industry, whether you are a singer, dancer, actor, YouTuber, or like wanna, someone who wants to start any of those careers, like it is, 
you're gonna get rejection so much and you are gonna think you're the perfect part for something or you have the perfect voice for this gig or band or and you're gonna get rejected and you're gonna it's really easy to like start thinking you're terrible or start thinking you're you're not cut out for it and that has nothing to do with it like you have to like know within yourself that this is what you're meant to do and you're just gonna keep trying and trying and eventually something's gonna click and maybe it's not the thing you expected maybe it's not like if you're you've been wanting a certain acting gig maybe something else is gonna come up maybe it's a singing gig maybe it's a modeling gig maybe it's a public speaking gig or a, like you know something where you're helping out at a school with kids and like that actually could be really fulfilling too and so you just have to be open to like success can come in all forms and to not box yourself off to like well this is the only kind of success I'm gonna accept it's like no there's so many things that you could accept there are so many possibilities and you know just keep on waiting and keep persevering and putting in hard work. I'm gonna sum all that up. So that is a lot of stuff, like, because in the six months that I've been here, um, so much has happened. Like, I went on Shane Dawson's podcast and I got interviewed by him. I worked for Halloween Horror Nights and I got to, like, experience what that was like as a scare actor and make scare actor videos for this YouTube channel, which I loved doing and that made me feel like I found a really cool market to make videos for. And I've been still working at Disney. I've been able to make a bunch of new friends. I started my job at the brewery that I'm working for. I went and saw Christy in DC. I signed with full screen. I booked that movie gig. I'm leaving for Idaho in 11 days for my movie shoot, which is so incredible. I'm gonna make a video about that for sure. Like, I'm definitely gonna be vlogging in Idaho while I'm on set, so be tuned, tuned in for those videos. I'm either gonna put them in on Sierra Sunday or I'll do like a separate video about my Idaho experience. Not sure yet. There has been so much that has happened in six months, and like, if I can achieve all of that in six months, like, there is no telling what you could achieve, whether your dreams are to act, dance, sing, be a teacher, be a writer, be a unicycler like literally anything like if I can do all of that you can do all of that and more so just you know keep motivated and keep believing in yourself and telling yourself that you can do it and I'm gonna be there every step of the way to make sure that you do <laughs> thank you so much for listening to me and listening to my whole um, mashup or like culminating experience of my last six months in LA. I am so grateful for all these opportunities and I am so grateful to all of you out there who are watching my vlogs. It means so much to me and I hope that I can continue to inspire you and and, and, can, can, bleh, bleh, and continue to motivate you and like make videos for things that you want to see and things that you care about. So again, please comment down below like specific things you want me to make videos on. I know I've gotten requests for how to stay positive, like dealing with rejection, how to start out as a YouTuber, how to start out as an actor, like all those things. And those are all things that are in the works that I definitely plan on making videos for. But if there are other things, please comment them down below. I would love to hear. Be sure to tune in next week for my next video. There's gonna be information about acting, about my Idaho movie shoot, and a whole other bunch of stuff. So stay tuned and I will update you guys later. Be sure to check out my social media if you haven't already. Sierra Michelle Green on Instagram and Sierra M Green on Twitter. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.